Some people have claimed that there is a hypothetical star called Nemesis, which may be a hard to detect red dwarf star, or a white dwarf, or possibly even a brown dwarf. It was originally a scientific idea postulated in 1984 to be orbiting the Sun at a distance of about 95,000 astronomical units, 1.5 light years. As of 2011, over 1,300 brown dwarfs have been identified and none of them are inside the solar system or anywhere as near as hypothesized with the idea of Nemesis. Due to the advancement in technology since the 1980s, it would be foolish of anyone to assume that a brown dwarf or a red dwarf or a white dwarf star would be undetectable considering modern technology has moved forward so much as to make many brown dwarfs which were previously undetectable far more easy to find. Considering the advancements in technology, our ability to actually detect brown dwarf stars and other dim objects, there is no reason to assume or blindly believe that there could be a brown dwarf star out there. Without proof or evidence, it's simply pure fantasy, a wild imagination, given ideas of what may be. But the fact is, according to what we know, factually, there is no evidence of this brown dwarf or some kind of other object which may be similar in composition. There's this bizarre idea which a few people have talked about, and I'm sure you would have to find weird articles on this from conspiracy websites saying there's a black hole in the solar system. There is zero evidence for this. And like with the other theories I've mentioned, this is again playing into fantasy, idle speculation, without any serious evidence of any kind expressing this as being a possibility, let alone an actuality. But as many of you out there will of course recognise, conspiracy theorists don't need to have the facts. They use the same knee-jerk response as the religious fundamentalist, where they say, if you can't disprove a god, there must be a god. And in this case, if you cannot disprove a black hole, a brown dwarf star, Nibiru, Planet X, or whatever, they will say, ah, it must be true, because you cannot disprove it. Tishi sometimes pronounced Teich, is a hypothetical concept of a gas giant within the Oort cloud, which is at the outer limits of our solar system. The idea of this gas giant, which may possibly be in the Oort cloud, propelling many comets towards the center solar system is an interesting idea, a curious hypothesis which many astronomers have been hugely skeptical of. There is a possibility but the hard evidence, the genuine proof is lacking. There is no solid evidence of this particular gas giant being an actuality, although it may exist. I'm open-minded to the possibility. However, it is quite another thing 
to take that possibility, that unproven hypothesis, and claim that is evidential of Nibiru or Planet X. There is occasionally a confusion between Taishi, otherwise known as Taich, or Taichi, and 258 Taich, which is a relatively large asteroid belt object. It's very easy for people to get confused in regard to this issue. They read an article about Teich saying it's a theoretical gas giant. They read another article saying it's an asteroid, not realizing the differential between the two different ideas. The obvious result is that a conspiracy theorist, or an Aburu theorist if you prefer, would believe that there is some kind of cover-up, where one article confirms existence, another one says it's theoretical. Confusion is abound. And certain people on certain websites, conspiracy theory websites, UFO websites, would say this is proof of its movement and that it actually exists and may be Nibiru. But in actual fact, it is simply the poor interpretation of fact where people haven't read the full information of the articles involved and have become confused by the separate ideas.